Mr. Chu here. I'm going to be taking you through the construction of two different things today. The first is going to be a circle that is inscribed in a triangle, and the second is a construction of a circle that is circumscribed about a triangle. Let's first start out by constructing a triangle. And recall that the circle that is inscribed in a triangle, we must first find the in center. Now the in-center is going to be the intersection of the angle bisectors of a triangle. Now we know that the angle bisectors of a triangle are concurrent, so I'm only going to construct two of the angle bisectors. Here's our point of concurrency, the in-center. Now, to construct our inscribed circle, we have to make a circle that has a center of point D, that's the in-center. We first need to find the radius of our circle. Now recall that the shortest distance from a point to the side of a circle, okay, from the in-center to any of the sides of the triangle, the shortest distance is measured along the perpendicular line. So, let's construct the perpendicular line through D to side AC. Let's construct the intersection points. Now, we're going to construct a circle with center D and the radius from D to E. Here's our inscribed circle. Now let's take a look. If we drag our points around, our circle should stay inside the triangle. Now, I'm going to open a new sketch and we're going to work on the construction for the circle that is circumscribed about a triangle. Let's begin with a triangle. For a circumscribed circle, we must first find the circumcenter of our triangle. Now the circumcenter is the intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of our triangle. So first, we need to find the midpoints of our sides. And now let's construct the perpendicular lines. construct the intersection point of our perpendicular bisectors. And that's point G. I'm going to move things over a little bit just so we can see a little bit better. There we go. Now we need to construct a circle around point G, so G is going to be our center. Now recall that one of the characteristics of the circumcenter is that our circumcenter is equidistant from each of the vertices. So, if I construct a circle from G to any of our vertices, all of our vertices are going to be on our circle. And let's just go ahead and double check that. We're going to drag our points around. Our triangle stays inscribed in the circle. And there you go. What I want you to try now on your own is to construct a circle that is inscribed in a regular pentagon. Or I want you to construct the circle that is circumscribed about a regular pentagon. Have a nice night.